This is the washing line area. This is where the nursery started back in the day. And some of you may know that it's now no longer as plants because I sold all the plants in preparation for um, getting that job working at SAIE. It's going well, by the way. Very happy. Um, this is an avocado tree I grew. It's about two years old. Grown from seed. Might graft it at some point. Um, blueberry tree that was gifted to me. Uh, plum tree I bought from Mzansi Organics. This, um, if anyone knows what I'm doing wrong with my olive tree, let me know. Um, I've been feeding it warm tea and watering it. Maybe it's not in a position where it's not getting enough sun, so it's not looking too healthy. So if anyone has any tips, let me know. Avocado tree. And then the bananas, I need to separate these bananas. The plan wasn't for them to grow in the spot because it obviously is too small. I'll have to put them into something bigger. This is a guava tree that I got as a gift from one of my uncles. Uh, it did flower, but the flowers have dropped in winter when the tree goes dormant. Then I will be shaping the tree a bit nicer because it's growing all over the place and I want to kind of shape it into looking more like a tree and not like a bush. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, and excuse the green pool. I haven't been at home, so when I'm not at home, then nobody see, seems to maintain this pool. Um, celery in preparation for the winter that we're coming, that we're coming into. Tamarillo. This was my blueberry pot and um, I threw some purple seeds here so I kept the biggest one so I'll let the, I'll keep this blueberry in but uh, I'll see how this purple tree does this is gonna be grown from seed hopefully it's um, it's the type that uh, is male and female then I won't need a second purple tree in order for the fruit to grow um, and this is bamboo so somebody asked me on TikTok, what am I going to be using for the, what am, am I going to be using the bamboo for? And this is just for, basically I'm experimenting. And also I can use the bamboo to use as stakes for other plants. Oh, and these are sunflower stalks that I, I can also use as stakes or to grow beans onto. Now... <clears throat> I'm not going to walk you through this row over here because it's basic things. It's my herbs, like the rosemary, lavender, um, and there's some eggplant there that I didn't really produce because I don't think it was the best container to grow the eggplant in. The jalapenos grew really well. There are still some on, but I've harvested quite a lot already. Um, and there's lettuce and spinach but that's what I want to say I think for the coming season when I have time I'll be removing this whole row of plant boxes and that's because it takes me too much time to water all of these plants manually with the house pipe and um, I just don't have the time anymore to to spend um, half an hour in the garden watering, sometimes longer when I have to water a second time in the day. So all these plant boxes eventually I will be removing and I'll just be focusing on the large plant boxes because things grow better in it and I like that I can move all of these plant boxes. And I will be cutting down the number of plants I have growing in these walls bags because this also takes a lot of time to water manually. And some of you might be thinking, why don't I just get irrigation? The reason I don't is, I don't want any pipes um, going across the floor. So, um, yes, I could let it go across the floor, but it will be so uh, such an inconvenience for people to walk over, people tripping on it, accidentally stepping on it. I could set up something where the irrigation runs um, above, uh, you know, above the ground, but that. I just don't want to go through that complication. I'll just not be having plant boxes over here. Sorry for that long explanation. 
I planted some red cabbage. Um, I'm not planting them very densely because they grew quite big the last time. And I've learned from um, someone who has been gardening many years. He said that uh, pests are not as likely to interfere with red cabbage as they are with green cabbage because um, pests like aphids uh, are more attracted to green foliage. And then I have a lime basil which I grew for the first time. I'm not a very big fan of the taste of it but the fragrance is very nice. I actually made tea with it like I, like I do with the lemongrass. I made a lemon flavored tea. Oh, that flavor, that smell is really strong. <coughs> um, I made a lemon flavored tea with this lime basil or lime flavored tea, I guess. This is my second sowing of tomatoes. They're not growing very big, but that's fine. Uh, I just wanted to get some extra tomatoes while the weather was still warm because my older tomatoes did die back, as you can see. One tomato plant that hasn't gone back, and this is. I think the main reason why I wanted to make this video is this tomato tree. I don't think it's like <laughs> can be considered a plant at this point. It is so long. When this thing stops growing, I am definitely gonna be measuring this tomato plant just to check if I haven't maybe um, broken any records, any Guinness World records. Because uh, it's really amazing how much um, this tomato plant has given me. Uh, I planted it in October, and yeah, it's still it's still producing leaves. All I'll do is I will tie it down to this wire. And for those of you who are new, I got this wire from a scrapyard and just. You know, turn, uh, tied it up on that pole and then against that pillar. And so I was growing, with them, um, I was growing um, all kinds of tomatoes on this um, wire. My other bed, and in this bed, I have, bro uh, sorry, cauliflower. Cauliflower, I did attempt to grow it last year, but. Um, I was sick for one week and in that week it got ravaged by uh, caterpillars so I never got to harvest any cauliflower so we're trying it again this year I like growing brassicas in winter they it's very low maintenance like especially with it raining so much you don't have to water as often um, this is my yard long green beans I uh, need to harvest this it looks it's looking so nice this i also planted in october and it's only giving me beans now so this is something i will now knowing that i saved some seeds from ones that i let dry out um <clears throat> like this one i'm letting it dry out and um i want to plant it again because it's such a interesting plant to grow although it's not the easiest bean to grow and it takes very long and it's not going to be as productive but it's so interesting. I mean, <laughs> look how nicely it's growing. And it tastes very nice also. So yeah, the black tomatoes are done. And um, I think the eggplant has stopped producing fruit, but I will be overwintering these ones because I do like them a lot. Uh, thai pink tongue. Okay. <clears throat> these chili plants have been in here for about three years this is its third year third season and it's still producing chilies and every year it dies back and I trim off the dead foliage and then when the weather warms up again they come back even stronger so the production re hasn't really slowed down I could have uh, trimmed it back a bit more because this is still the branches of last year and you can see that it uh, didn't, it didn't uh, produce so well on these branches so <coughs> I think the lesson learned is to cut it back even harder to overwinter them better <coughs> and yeah I have peppers growing 
I do have um, footage that's on my phone of these peppers because I want to make um, you know a series of videos where uh, it's called um, is it worth it or worth it or something on TikTok where I um, ca I'm calculating the monetary value of the produce that I'm able to grow and then assessing whether it's worth it to buy it in the shop so try growing it so that one's coming with the peppers but that won't be coming for a while <coughs> this is the cucumber so I planted three new cucumber plants here's one um, here's the second one and the third one is here it's just tangled up in this other plant just wanted to say something that I've learned with the cucumber this year so let me just pull off this cucumber so you can have a better look <clears throat> I've gotten a really nice cucumber from these plants already but um, as you can see, these cucumber have, some of them have gotten very bad pest damage. Something is coming and stinging this plant, laying eggs in it. And um, I never had this problem when I grew the cucumber from October and then harvested and, you know, um, pulled out the plant around January, February side. So I think these later season cucumber are going to be more susceptible to the pest like i'm saying what i'm trying to say is i don't think the pest comes out early in the season and later in the season they come out so <clears throat> either i need to plot i need to grow cucumber just in the early season when when uh, summer just starts and not later in summer like how i did with these cucumber and then i won't have to cover these cucumber up with like like if I didn't want the pest to come, if I, want, if I didn't want to use any pesticide or whatever, then I would cover these up with the with the pantyhose or something. But if I didn't want to go through that effort, then I would just grow cucumber in the early season. Because um, now this like it's basically unedible. Uh, this is people have asked me if this is cucumber. This is not cucumber. This is in the cucumber family. But this is a loofah and um, i'm letting it dry out on the plant because we'll be making a um, shower sponge with these um, loofahs so that video will come i don't know when uh, this is also something i planted in october so this takes very long to to start um, to start growing and even longer for the plant to dry out and i saw that there's a new one um, they growing in the roof yeah and um, more paper plants and I think I'll, I'll end the video off with this one with showing you this this is um, nasturtiums that I'm growing right and I grew this as a sacrificial plant so all over you'll see I have nasturtiums I have a nasturtium in here for the caterpillars I have nasturtium growing in here but I just trimmed it back so the caterpillars are really attracted to these um, cabbages they're attracted to the cauliflower I have nasturtium in there as well so I'm planting nasturtium all over to act as a sacrificial plant so that they don't go for any of my other plants so yeah i have like you know my bell peppers um i've harvested a lot of the bell peppers already but they haven't been eating on the bell peppers the they prefer eating on the nasturtium so i could take them here and i could like kill these caterpillars i don't really want to feel like i need to because they're not eating on the plants that i actually want to eat from so uh, these will all be butterflies so i'm not really interested in killing them unless like they do become a problem i've even seen that the aphids go for these nasturtiums before they go for any other plant so i'm very happy that this year i'm growing nasturtiums and we're going to see if um <coughs> if i have these nasturtiums in will they still be attracted to my cauliflower and cabbage and i will know as soon as i see any kind of bites um, holes in my foliage
which I'm not seeing. That's nothing. I'm not seeing, so, so far, it looks like it's working. Um, yeah, so, that is my, oh, no, I'm sorry, not, not goodbye just yet. There's one last thing I want to show you, and then we're done with this video. I just wanted to basically document my garden for um, summer 2022 to 2023. And um, the soil I'll end of the video with this mango tree. Mashallah, these mangoes are growing so nicely. This plant, this tree was full of mangoes, but I picked up a lot of the mangoes so that the energy of the plant could just focus on these three. Just to show me that, you know, it can produce the fruit to full term. Um, and yeah, it has. So yes, this is the new side of the nursery filled up with uh, some plants and plant boxes and uh, shukran everyone for sticking around and um, hopefully get to make um, you know the regular type of content not too long from now maybe a month or two from now I just want some time to Focus on uh, my child, um, focus on this journey, take it in really, take in these moments, not be distracted. Uh, so I'll see you guys. I'm still going to be making videos for SAIE, so be sure to follow them on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube as well. I'll see you.